This video is about the 5-step guide to make your own instructional videos. This topic may help you out to find another idea for your in-service training. As teachers in title, we developed an instructional model built around self-made videos that empowered students at all levels to learn at their own pace and build mastery skill by skill. We used this screencast style videos. First, to replace traditional lecture style direct instruction, freeing us up to work directly with individual students. Next is to give directions for projects and other complex tasks and to provide remediation on skills that students might need to practice. The key is empowering educators to build their own high-quality instructional videos. Unlike externally created videos, these allow teachers to multiply themselves in the classroom without losing their authenticity. They can provide direct instruction via the videos while also circulating around the room, answering the questions and guiding students to deeper learning. Let's talk on our first step, the chunk instruction. What is chunk instruction? When it comes to video creations, time is of the essence. The research shows that learner engagement with videos begins to drop after the 6-minute mark and it falls dramatically after 9. It's essential to chunk instruction such that each video covers a single learning objective or task and nothing more. And it is multiple short videos are better than one long video. We have step 2. Build video ready slides. In here, the best instructional videos are highly focused, are visual cues to highlight key information and minimize the use of on-screen text. The slides that a teacher would use in a lecture may not work in a video. It's critical to build a slide deck that is clear, simple, and visually compelling. Step number three. Record. There are many tools you can use to create a strong instructional video. Here are a few that can really simplify the process and enhance the quality of the video. The first one is recording device. Ideally, you have a touch screen tablet or a laptop with a high quality stylus. This ensures that you can easily animate visuals and show work. Handwriting also adds a nice personal touch. But if you have a non-touch screen laptop or a tablet but no stylus, you can still make your own videos. The next one is screencasting program. The best programs allow educators to pause and re-record specific segments of their video easily, which removes the pressure of getting a perfect take. Look for a program that has a robust video editor and an embedded annotation tool. The next one is microphone. This is often forgotten, but it's really helpful to have a pair of headphones with an external mic. These headphones help you improve the sound quality and ensure that your videos don't contain background noise. Our step 4 is Enhance Engagement. Simply sitting and watching videos can lead students to lose focus. The best instructional videos keep them actively engaged. 
when students take notes or answer guided questions while watching, they retain material better than students who watch passively. Embedding questions in your instructional video using programs like Puzzle can improve students' interaction and provide you with invaluable formative assessment data. Students should think of video watching as a task they perform actively in order to learn. Our last step is be yourself. Videos in which the instructor speaks in a natural, conversation manner with an enthusiastic tone are the most engaging. In our experience, students really appreciate knowing that it's their actual teacher behind the video. Learning to create a high-quality instructional video doesn't happen overnight. It requires continual trial, error, and innovation. I've been recording videos for months, and I often struggle to be compelling and concise. Yet, I keep trying because I believe that teacher-driven blended instruction is what's best for our students. So start planning, grab some recording software, be yourself, and have fun!